Do you have a dirty little secret? Welcome to the club. And you're all invited. The first rule of the Dirty Little Secrets Club is tell everyone about the Dirty Little Secrets Club. We're handed out memberships, free of charge. Step up to the VIP line and let Dana and Brimstone take you on a weekly ride of secrets and debauchery. Now buckle up, Buttercup, because things are about to get heated on the Dirty Little Secrets Club. Welcome, everybody, to another edition of the Dirty Little Secrets Club. I am Brim and... I'm Dana Pereira. And it's going to be an awesome episode because, look, we have a very special guest. I am super excited, super stoked. You see that beautiful face over there? It is Tabitha Stevens, legendary, legendary Tabitha Stevens. How are you, my darling? I am fabulous. I did lose my voice at a convention this past weekend, so if I sound a little off, or I could sound sexy, I'm not sure how that's going to turn out. <laughs> but who knows? Who it's knows? like yeah. that uh, that that episode of Friends where Phoebe gets a cold, and then she's like. Thank you, my babies. <laughs> <laughs> that would be me today. <laughs> and, what, and then she then she grabs all the tissues, right? And she starts like taking sick people's tissues and rubbing it on her face or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Licking doorknobs. Look. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> don't do that, Tabitha. Don't do that. Tabitha. Oh no, I I mean you know I lick things, but doorknobs is not one. Of them. <laughs> um, definitely not, especially in this day and age you know you just don't want to do i won't even i do this with the sleeve every time i have to do something because i will not oh, yeah. open a door and i have the hand sanitizer I, it's like in a gun holster so i'm like Psh, with my sanitizer it's like look out everybody you know because you gotta be careful <laughs> lice all people <laughs> yeah right yeah. spray them down i'm wondering what's going to happen in another 10 years from now after all the uh, hand sanitizer use I don't know if we're going to be walking around with nubs on our hands or something, but I, I, it's, it's cool. I'm all right with that. I'd rather, I'd rather not get, I don't, I don't want to get COVID ever again. I already oh, had, had it. it. Oh, right. it was awful, awful. Awful. How long did you have it? Uh, about three weeks and change. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And then it took, oh. it took months before I got my, um, my taste and my scent back. Yeah, it was, it was awful. And um, I still wow. can't breathe. Right. You know what I mean? Um, you know, finally getting myself back in the gym and trying to get myself back in into some kind of a shape other than round. And, um, <laughs> you know, yeah. And what do you call it? Uh, and I just trying to get that 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 breathing, you know, down. And, uh, you know, it's hard. It's not the same. It's not the same as it was. But, you know, it is what it is. And, uh, you know, it, you can't go backwards. So you can only move forwards. So let's move forwards. And, and hopefully you'll be a little bit better. But that being said, mm -hmm. um, we were we were reminiscing uh, tabs that that we've known each other for upwards of 12, 13 years at this point. Yeah, and it's, um, been a long time. it's crazy because we we <laughs> we met at it was I, and I remember it almost as if it was yesterday. Uh, so I. It was the Michael J. Fox Parkinson's Foundation. We were on the red carpet and we met there and uh, we were fast friends and, and we've been friendly friends ever since. And um, yeah. What do you call it? I am I am blessed to have you in my corner. You are are, are an absolute doll, and you know that. You know I love you to death. And um, what do you call it? I can't wait to to see you. You know, hopefully, because we were trying to come out to see you. You know, and then COVID happened, and that just killed all those plans. You know, it's just like, all right, let's let's get out to to see uh, to have that. I told my wife, I said, Danielle, we're going out. We're gonna see her. And uh, what do you call it? And and uh, you know, we we haven't seen each other in person. In so many years, it would be nice to go out and, and you know, see you. And I know that little jailhouse and all the, you know, all the. Oh, actually, we sold it. We sold yeah. it. Oh, yes. no. Yes, we did. Oh, we, we oh, were living what in is the jailhouse? Oh, we, my husband and I, well, my husband, actually, this is before we were married, we were together. He bought an old historic hotel in this little teeny town in Utah. And through, we bought it in 2005 and throughout the years we were renovating it and we were just going to use it as like a little hub for like our adventure gear because we love to go out like hiking, kayaking yeah. and stuff like that. And then we kind of turned it into our house, but it was 10,000 square feet. So it's this huge building with a big, huge project. And then um, you know, while we were there, we couldn't really grow. It was a little town and my husband um, also does fine art photography besides being a director and filmographer. So we we're trying to do that. And what happened was it kind of like, it couldn't grow because Utah is a funny place. And I, I love the land there. It's gorgeous, but um, it's very Mormon. And most people aren't going to buy prints because they have family photos on the walls, as we've learned. So we weren't going to get that. And it was a little tough. And then, of course, 
you know, the election thing was going down and it wasn't, there was no really diversity in that town and we couldn't take it. We're just like, you know what? It's time to go. Like it's time. Let's all be kind to each other. Mm-hmm. And then the, of course we moved to Vegas before the pandemic. So I'm glad that happened because we were in a town of 900 people with one little clinic and one grocery store that was closed on Sunday uh, <laughs> and was only open until 7 PM. And the people who were there, they were, they were very nice people, but it was just kind of like, hmm, I think it's time to move on. So we sold. And now we're in Vegas. And then of course with the pandemic, like everything, like we wanted to see you guys too. We shot a horror film and we're ready to put it out. COVID hits. So we Ah. had to put it out in the midst of COVID. And we're like, yay. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) So that happened. And then we did the convention this weekend and there was a film festival, which thank goodness we were selected uh, to be part of it. And uh, we went to awards for best special effects and I got best killer. So I'm like, oh. yeah, out the gate. Congratulations. You know? so what that what is how- that movie Thank called? You ready for this? Die oh. Influencers Die. Yes. <laughs> oh, I take them out. I take them out. And oh. I'm ready for part two, I think. I think it's time. There's some more people that need to go. <laughs> <laughs> if you would like me to be an extra in that and you can like stab me in my throat or something, I am down. I am so okay. down. <laughs> I know. I was thinking of Brim last night. I'm like, hmm, I think we're going to do a, a, I've never done a GoFundMe thing. Uh, so I'm like, maybe we should try it and see, because then I can add more people to the film. Because we uh, spent the money on the last one. We used our own money. And, um, you know, it's expensive. You, it's a lot. Yes, it gets expensive. And the more you want to do, especially for a part two, because number one did very well. And now we're getting awards. And we're like, oh, there's so many people. We have rock stars that we're friends that we want to add to it. We're like, oh, let's do it. So let's see. We'll see what happens. So, Brent, you want to come out? Let's do this. Okay. You got to help us with this because we don't know how to do this. We've never done a GoFundMe. So all all I need... All I need is is a little space on the couch to sleep on, and I will work for you for free always. You know that's that's you can kill me if you'd like, and or you can make me a henchman. That would be fun too. But what do you call it? Whatever you want to do, I'm in, and I am happy to come yeah. out and, and have fun with you. I just want to see you. I just I this is this I is know, it's this been is so great. Long. What do you call it? Uh, so let's let's without further ado get started. Um, I know we gave you a little rundown on on how it works. Um, would you like to do the honors and start reading our first uh, dirty little secret? However, this is again a special edition. It is all about fetishes. So uh, we've gotten a tremendous. I mean, we got a couple hundred Dana uh, mm. different fetishes. So we broke it down to what's going to fit into the show, and then the other ones. Don't worry, they will be read, but they're going to be split up over you know upcoming shows. So make sure everybody tunes in. Uh, so if you'd like to start tabs, that would be great. Okay, I'll try it with this sexy voice of mine. Okay. <laughs> no, it is, remember, these are from other people. Yes. <laughs> because this one, I'm not really, I mean, I like to have fun with these things, but anyway. All right, so I have a small penis humiliation fetish. When I have sex with my wife, I need her to tell me how small I am and how she needs a guy with a big dick to fuck her right. Uh, it's my dirty little secret. But I want her to lock me in a chastity device while she does that. Mm, naughty. <laughs> no, I've seen this though. I've seen this on webcam. I've done webcam. And I've seen all kinds of neat stuff. And it's it's kind of fun. Because but I'm so nice. So when somebody will ask me, oh, can you make fun of my small penis? I'm like, but it's so cute. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a little button, but they like that. And they're like, oh, pencil eraser. Oh, I gotcha. I can't even use that. It's too small. I can't even erase and stuff off my paper. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> I, I, as a man, as a man, I could not handle that. I, like that's this, one of the things I'm like. Listen, I'm a, I am a, I'm a, I'm a, a show, I'm a grower, not a shower. But at the end of the day, you know, it's at least a nice, you know, th- I'm working all right here. My wife hasn't complained, but you know, and I, 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 I couldn't see anybody being like. Call me a small dick. Call me a small penis. I couldn't make fun of my penis. I most men are like, no, no. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I don't know where to go with this one. <laughs> I don't know where to go. No, with they, this but one. they love it. I mean, they they really like that. And I had people leave the chat because I wasn't mean enough. Oh, so I know all about yes. And I'm like, 
Well, I'm sorry that you have a cute little penis, but you know, hey, what do you want me to do? I mean, I don't know. I want me to try to pick my nose with it. It's like a pinky. I mean, I don't know where to go with that. Where do you go? What is the meanest thing you've had to say about a penis? Like whenever you were like, all right, fine. I have to get down mean with this one. What was like the mean thing that you came up with that they were like, yes. I don't know because I just spit it out. Like if I'm in that mode, like right now, no, I'm in, hey, let's have a fun day. <laughs> but if I'm like in my, that work mode, oh, the stuff that comes out of my mouth is like dirty, dirty, dirty. I, I sometimes I shock myself. I'm like, did I, and my husband will cry. He'll be in the other room listening. He's like, what did you say? I'm like, I don't know. It just came out. It just came out. So I don't even, I can't even tell you. <laughs> oh, God. It just you, flows like the river. <laughs> do you realize? Do you realize right now? I it just it's just come upon me. It's dawned on me. I'm sandwiched between two gorgeous women, and really? I can't get in trouble for it. Isn't yeah. this amazing? You can't. You can't no. But just keep it in your pants, friend. Keep it in your pants. I'm joking. <laughs> you know me. I can't even All look right. at a, a, any of your your. You know, half the time you're when you put the photos up, I can't even look. I'm like, I can't look at Tabitha like that. It's like my sister. Aww. I can't look. I'm very, you know me, I'm very, yes. that's just, you know, I'm very respectful. And, um, and that's awesome. That's, that's a wonderful thing because most men, and I'm not, you know, Hey, everybody likes to feel good about themselves. So when people say you look hot, that's cool. But, uh, but no, it's, it's amazing to me that the amount of men that'll be with their wives are like, you know, kind of push aside and just like whisper stuff. And you're like, dude, like not cool. Like I have a hard time with that, even though I've been in the business since 1995. Um, I have a tough time with that. To me, it's all about respect. Always, no matter what. My job is my job. But, you know, outside of that, well, even in the job, it's all about respect. You respect other people. You know, respect other people's feelings, especially their spouses. I'm very big with that. I can't. That drives me out. So you be cool yeah. to your spouse. Always. Always. Absolutely. Or girlfriend or whoever you want. If you have somebody with you, always. That's just me. I can't tell you how many dirty little secrets we get on this show about, you know, either the men or the women cheating on their spouses. <laughs> And the Dan and I are like, all right, well, you know, at least have communication. Maybe you shouldn't be in the relationship if that's yeah, the case. Yeah, we try so. so hard to make it nice. We're like, okay, <laughs> because <laughs> you can see Brimmel start to twitch sometimes. He's like, uh, 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 I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna be nice. <laughs> but you know, I can't. You know, yeah, if people, you know, everybody's got their thing, and you know, hey, I've been judged so much in my life for the choices I've made in my career or whatnot. So I try not to be that way with anybody else because mm -hmm. I get it. And I get it to this day, really, really harsh. And it's like, you know what, to each his own. But you know, if you're with somebody, have respect for that person. That, that's just it. At the end of the day, it's all about respect to me. It's all about just be cool and be respectful. 100%. So, that's what I'm talking about. All right, so let's move along. I'm going to get to the second one. You guys ready mm -hmm. for this one? Right. Yes. All right. So my biggest fetish centers around the opaque tights. I get turned on when I see a woman in black opaque tights and a short skirt or dress. I want to drop to my knees and worship her feet. I instantly become submissive. I dream about being under her desk and being smothered by her feet as she goes about her work. The sad part is that my wife never wears opaque tights and she thinks it's very 1980s-ish. Oh, well. <laughs> hey, 80s rule, man. I'm just saying. The That's 80s what I'm talking about. Yeah. 80s, I mean, you know, 80s, 80s were a kick-ass time. I don't know how you can complain about being, you know, two 80s. That's that's awesome, right? But how old is his wife? <laughs> I don't know. We don't maybe know. She, yeah. she, she doesn't, yeah, maybe she doesn't like the 80s. Maybe she was born after or something, or and she's just like angry at the 80s. Yeah. So it's like, don't put on those tights. I'm not wearing leg warmers, I'm not wearing big hoop earrings, pretty yeah. fluorescent <laughs> colors. Like, oh, no, no, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just making things was up. a total <laughs> 80s girl. I mean, I, I was born in the 82 and uh, I was one of those people. Tights make me feel like I have restless leg syndrome. So this dude oh. would hate me because tights <laughs> would make me feel like I have like stuff crawling on my legs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and mm -hmm. I never fucking wear tights. Yes. Never. I get what itchy is, from them too. Yeah. I get itchy from certain things. If it's certain material, I'm a little better with certain, like fit, real fishnets, like the real material. I took dance for 11 years. So we had to you know, wear them with little costumes. Those itch and they're horrible and they're stiff and it's the most horrible thing. Now his tights, I can, I could probably do, but for a minute. Yeah. If I cut out the crotch. <laughs> <laughs> 
breathe. You got to let it breathe. Let it, you know, let that little clam be happy. Yeah, breathe. you don't want to suffocate it. <laughs> did you just say have a happy little clam? Did you just yes. say? That's I like what you said. That's just I so, did. I so did. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, exactly, what, are, what exactly are these opaque tights? Is that like a specific brand or... Am I they're, missing something? They're just or- a little thicker. They're a little thicker. And they're uh, shiny. Aren't they the shiny the, ones? Yeah, yeah because okay. they're they're the ones that you can't right. really see through. Like you have like the thinner ones where you can see through and it's just like mm-hmm. a little, you know, uh, coating over your legs. And then the opaque ones right. are the darker ones. They're a little bit more. Um, they're not as see through as the regular ones. They're not like they're not like the TikTok things that everybody's wearing that like shapes your ass to be like supposed to like make your ass look perfect or something. Those are slimmers, I think, right? I don't even know. I don't watch TikTok. <laughs> like, I, I don't really know. need to try those damn things though. I mean, I could they have like this little like stitching in the booty. It makes your butt oh. like like a Kardashian. Oh. Oh. I saw a girl at the gym the other day wearing that and it and it looked pretty impressive. Oh. And they scrunch like, it. Yeah. yeah. Scrunches yeah. in the middle. Yeah, those are cute. Mm-hmm. I looked and I said, I wasn't trying to sit and look at her ass, and I, I was like Oh wow! I said those, those must be those pants. Now I think that's what those pants were. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. How can you Very not look? I mean, everybody. I look at. I'm like, oh. <laughs> like why oh. I just, I just want to squeeze them. I just want to go. Is it real? My husband <laughs> always real. says he wants to put his face in between my butt cheeks and do this. <laughs> <laughs> do it, but just don't do it during. If you eat something that you're going to be gas. Because yeah. that's not fun. Or it could be fun, no. depending. Like, <laughs> well, if you're pissed off, why well, don't I put like, yeah. here, babe? I'm ready for you. There you go. Uh-huh. Oh, pardon. <laughs> no. Uh, 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 <laughs> All right, now pretty gross. Are you the kind of person that sees a woman at the grocery store or something like that? And you're like smacking your husband, like, damn, look at her ass. Are you that kind of a person? Oh, I'd be like, wow, she looks great. Yeah. I'm yeah. very like, like, wow, she's pretty. I, I'd, I'd even tell her like, you're beautiful. Yes. Like, I have no problem doing that because women need to support other women. I Absolutely. believe more. Now we've all been catty in our lives. I can't say I have it. We've all been that way. But as I've grown older, a lot older, uh, <laughs> it, I, you know what? everybody deserves like love and especially with women because you know we get enough crap as it is and it's like you know what lift each other up and that's important so if I even if somebody's not the most beautiful person I always find something in somebody it could be they they have perfect teeth or they oh your teeth are great or your hair is beautiful I always find something and I always compliment even people I never met in my whole life you know I just never met I'd be like you know what I love that hairstyle you know because it's like you know it makes you feel good People should do that more often. I agree. You know what? I love that about you. I try and do the same thing. I just remember like somebody walked up to me on the street one day and was like, oh my God, you know, like that shirt is so cute. And then for the rest of the day, I had this big old smile on my face. I'm like, why not pass that feeling along to other people? Totally. And you're gorgeous. So it's just like, and then it's like, (laughs) (laughs) no, but no, truly. I mean, that's just, I don't know. You see, and now I know how ugly I am because the only compliment I've ever gotten from you is I have a nice birthmark. And that's not, you know, oh, I, I, stop. I'm just kidding. I'm just oh, kidding. stop. <laughs> where is uh, the birth- Wait, where is the birthmark? There is no birthmark. Oh. <laughs> There's no birthmark. Oh, I thought it was somewhere. I'm like, where is it? <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, did I see that birthmark? Because <laughs> I thought no. I complimented <laughs> No. So going going back to this guy and his in this fetish, um, what do you call it? Are you are either of you, you know, cool with with foot worship? I mean, do you like, you know, your feet touched and rubbed and you know, I guess is that is that fun for you? Um yeah, I like it. <laughs> I, I don't um, I love that. <laughs> I love touching feet. I just like I'm a touchy person. You know, I don't, so I like my feet touch. I like touching people's feet. Uh, cold feet are a little tough, but um, if you warm them up, but putting like, like Gary and I, my husband and I, every night we do this, we, we call them simultaneous rubbies. So we sit like we're on a bus, you know, like he's behind me and I'm the front. Yeah. He'll do my back and I'll do his legs and feet. And then we do it for about 20 minutes and then we switch and then I have my feet, but every day, but it helps. It helps to sleep better. But no, I love the feeling of it too. I love feet and I love my feet. Not tickly so much, but mm-hmm. the rubbing. Like, I love the rubbing and that, you know, yeah. getting the oil in there. And it's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Every night I massage Danielle's feet and she rubs my back. So, what do you call it? That's, that's yeah. the way. Yeah. Before we go to bed. 
God, so my always... husband is so pissed right now that I don't rub his feet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> He's going to yeah. listen to this and be like, bitch, you're up. It's time. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> uh, Danielle very rarely rubs my feet either. So don't feel, don't feel too bad. But what do you call it? But she does rub my back. I like, I like my nice, nice, my tickles on my back. That's good. <laughs> yeah. You know I'll what I mean? That. You mm-hmm. know? Um, yeah. All right. So listen, dude, I mean, I think you should have a conversation with your wife again. I'd be like, listen, let's have a night where, uh, where we're going to do maybe for Halloween. I want you to be, you know, someone from the eighties and dress up all crazy for me, get her a pair of those tights and see what happens. Go pick it up for her. Don't have her go do it herself. Go pick it up yeah. for her. Surprise her, get some flowers, get some chocolate, make sure it's nice and pretty and spooky all at the same time. Halloween, get it on baby. See what happens. You, got, and you nailed it. Didn't you nail it? Yeah, it was perfect. Because if somebody were to give me tights, wouldn't he be just be like, "Really? You bought me tights?" Uh But you see, he's doing the whole package. Then it's like, "Oh, you got me tights, but you know what? I like that chocolate." Uh Okay, I'll go put them on. Right? I mean, that bottle of wine is looking sexy right now. (laughs) Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, look, hey, it's Halloween. Let's have some fun. I love you. Let's, you know, let's go fool around a little bit and, and dress you up in the 1980s style. I mean, I listen, play Barbie for a night. I think that would be fun. Yeah, right? let's it not is. forget, too. We have Christmas coming up. We got oh, birthdays yeah. once a year. Like, hey, what do you Day. want for your birthday? Valentine's Day. Yes. I would mm-hmm. like you in those sexy ass tights, please. And thank you. That's what I want yes. for my birthday. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Even if you get it once a year, it's better than known. That's right. That's there what I'm you. talking about. Yeah. All right, Day. You want to move on to the next one? Yep. Yeah. Oh, All this right. one is fucking fantastic. <laughs> I am only attracted to and want to have sex with old men, 60 and over. I just want to rock their worlds. So I guess I have an old man fetish. I've been like this since as long as I can remember. Woo. All right. Now, see, I don't know why you want to be hopping on them dusty old balls, but, you know, at the end of the day, um, I'm, Maybe I'm experience, a, experience. Listen, I'm, I'm yes. assuming this is a young, a young woman. You know what I'm saying? And I get the experience. Look, I'm, I'm not, not 60, but I'm, you know, I'm edging towards older. And the fact of the matter is, is that, you know, I, I mean, Look, the young girls today are, are I can't imagine them wanting to get it on with a guy that's my age. I just, I, you know, not that uh. I'm looking, but you know what I mean? I, I, you know what? I take it back because I've had experiences when I'm signing at conventions and I've had young women that are like, I've watched you since I was a baby, which doesn't necessarily make me feel so freaking comfortable. Ooh, but you know what I mean? But, you know, and they're trying to get into, to, you know, my, my uh, hotel room and uh, that doesn't happen. So, but, so I guess I can see it, but I'm also not 60. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like, what was, what was that? Um, uh, what, uh, it wasn't happy Gilmore. It was one of the Adam Sandler movies. It's like, he's old. He's just oh, old. With those wrinkly old balls. Yeah. Yeah, those wrinkly old boys like. slapping you in the ass. Like, I mean, I don't know, man. It I, was I'm, Big Daddy. Big Daddy. Yes. 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 That's what I'm talking about. I don't know. I mean, you know, maybe because, you know, if, you know, he shoots a load, it comes out as freaking dust. I don't know. <laughs> no, I, I, I will say this because <laughs> my husband is 57. That doesn't uh, count. That no, doesn't no, no, count. No, but he We're talking about great. other random people. Oh, but even other <laughs> random people. They're fine. And, you know, hey, it's, I don't see anything wrong with it. Sometimes, all right, in my older age here, I, I don't want to go for the marathon thing. I can't stand it. If you're wanting me for an hour, no, thank you. I'm not going a whole hour. I'm not going to be able to use the restroom when I'm done because it burns and it hurts. I want to just have my 15 minutes of absolute pleasure and fun. And then we can hang out, take our edibles and go to bed. Um, but that's, yeah. yeah, I'm good with that. Because I think the younger guys, they really want to get into it and you know, get all crazy. And it's like, I just, I don't know. Maybe I've, Maybe because I'm older. I, I don't know. But I just can't. Unless it's more of an oral thing. Okay. But just being boom, 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 boom. I can't take it. I, and I'm small too. But I can't. And I, yes, I've had it. I hear this too. Oh, well. Is your vagina? No, it's not. It's <laughs> the same. 
<laughs> and I never had kids, but if I did, it would still go back to this. You know, it's like, huh? like, what are you talking about? Like people don't guys, a lot of guys, they don't understand that. Like, Oh yeah, she did so much porn. It's all really, it's stretched out. No, it's not. It's fine. It's yeah. all good. Wouldn't it be the same if you just had, if you were having sex with one person four times a day, same thing yeah, is, exactly. you know, <laughs> exactly. It's so weird. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, Brim, you know, already I cut, I love some old men. I love me some old men. Sam Elliott. Mm, I do Beautiful. it. I do <laughs> it. So I can understand. I mean, I don't think I was ever like 18 being like, Ooh, I really want to fuck an old man, but I can see the appeal. I yes. mean, you know, uh, George Clooney. Mm. Mm-hmm. Well, yes. let's let's also take a step back. 60 is really not old. I mean, I True. think up yeah. to like 65, you're still not old, not young. You're just kind of right in the middle. I think mm-hmm. once you're passing 65 and edging up on 70 is when you're starting to. And I'm thinking when I'm thinking old, I mean, I'm still thinking I have a brain sometimes of a 20 year old or an 18 year old. So I'm thinking, <laughs> you know, all right, older. So, all right. I'm thinking like an older in their 70s, which I mean, look. My father, my father's a very good looking man and, and he still has it in him. And you know what I mean? Uh, at the end of the day, I, I could see how a younger woman might be attracted to him. So, you know, I, I'll, 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 I'll say I'm wrong and I'll say, but I'm thinking like an old wrinkly dude. Like I don't know David why. Foster, David Foster, Catherine McPhee kind of vibes. Maybe. I just, I don't know. I'm just thinking an old man, like a uh, shrivelly old man. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. That's, I, you know. I guess that's what I'm thinking when I'm thinking older man. I guess 60 and over. How far over? All right, we need to know more. How far over? You, you're looking. <laughs> yeah. uh, give us more information. Write us in. Is it, you know, 60 up to like 80? Are you willing to go and try to, you know, kill a man at 90 something? Oh. I mean, like, what are, you, what are you looking for? You know what I mean? And, and what are you looking for in it? Why do you want to have sex with these old men? I want to know. I need to know more. So you're going to be known as old man fucker. And um, please, please shoot that back to us. Make sure you put that you are old man fucker in there. And uh, I'd like to know more. I'm surprised Jalapeno Girl hasn't sent anything in for the fetishes. Wait, what? What's what does she do? Jalapeno Girl. Oh, 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 go ahead, Dana. Come well, on, tell can, me, Dana. Dana, share. Can. Jalapeno Girl is our rock star of the Dirty Little Secrets Club. She wrote in. I think she was probably one of our first um, people that wrote in our first couple of episodes, and. She likes to slice up a little jalapeno, get some juices on her fingers, and give herself a little treat. Oh, really? gives her a little tingle. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I've never done that. Yeah. Hmm. I, I wouldn't recommend it. it. <laughs> I, I'd, be, I'd be crying. I'd be like, fire. fire. Yeah. <laughs> I, I get to see Gary. I'll be your fireman. I'll hose it off. Like, don't yeah. hose it off. <laughs> your little no, swimmers are going to cry. Instead of the milk. Would make it worse. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. No, you need, you, need, you need cheese. Ew, that would be weird. Slap on some freaking Swiss. Both make the pain go some American cheese on there. Oh no. (laughs) Now you got a sandwich. (laughs) Oh my god. (laughs) That went a whole different way. Now I'm hungry. I'm like, yeah. Any breakfast yet? I'm like, shit. (laughs) That is fantastic. So what else are we gonna slap on it? Since I mean, you know, you're hungry, might as well make a whole sandwich. You know, (laughs) have make a make a breakfast, you know. Throw some eggs on there. Some bacon. Wrap a little bacon. bacon. Oh, my God. (laughs) I like my crispy. It might be a little awkward, but, you know. I want to see that. If my wife came in, if I was in bed and she woke me up for Mm -hmm. breakfast in bed and she was wrapped in bacon, I think I'd probably die because I, I, you know, I couldn't get any better than that. Just couldn't be any better than that, right? It's just, even just the smell of it. Oh, I mean, I, mean I, know, I love the taste of it too, but yeah, I'm just saying, just the, you know, the smell of just bacon. Just I the, wouldn't oh, even, yeah. I wouldn't oh. even get to eat it off of her because I'd be, I just a heart attack right there. Done. Well, uh, that just reminds me of like a uh, Lady Gaga's meat suit, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right. Oh, wow. I'd have cooked that bitch up and ate it right there. You <laughs> She's like, oh, why well, are you putting a little me salt in a on there. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on over here? Uh, <laughs> um, all right, Tams, you want to go with the uh, the next one? This is a big one. Now I'm going to have to look down to read my little thing. Because unlike Brimstone here, probably memorized everything because he's so good. He's like, 
And by the way, <laughs> you have a tiny penis. And, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like, damn, boy, you know what you do. It's like, I'll be like, my, no. okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Are you I, making fun of my, I stop telling I, I, have, I have a tiny penis. I do not <laughs> oh, have a tiny oh, penis. I'll you're acting. I'm like, you're acting. Oh, no. I'm like, oh. oh. He's oh. like, I'm confident with that. My penis? Okay. Well, that's a whole other story. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I have a tiny penis, just not a micro penis. Just not, don't get them confused. I don't want those. I don't want to be saying. You're, yeah. you're not winning any world records for the smallest penis. <laughs> oh, I've seen some that are the size of a thumb. No. Oh, my Swear. God. I've had them. But you know what? You figure it out. <laughs> and it's fucking easy. It's just like, beep, 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 beep. okay, cool. Can I have your mouth, please, for about yeah. 20 minutes? <laughs> just, just open it. I don't care what you do. Just. We'll figure this out. Listen, your yeah, tongue is bigger than your penis. So can I work yes. with that, please? Yes. There's always fingers. It's like, just poke one and it's good. It's all good. <laughs> oh, no, no. never. <laughs> uh, never have. Never will. It'll never. It can't happen. There's no way. I'm like, I, can't. I would split I don't in know half. What to do. Yes, because you're tiny. How, how much do you weigh? If you don't mind me asking, I know some women are weird about I'm that, 115 but. and I'm 5'3". So I'm, I'm a... You're little, yeah, like, yeah, five, three, two, I'm a hundred. But yeah, we're about the same. I mean, but we're little. We're little. Pe- it's like, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll cry. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, I'm moving on. Okay, so you ready for this? Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, my biggest fantasy is for my wife, she has no idea, to turn me into a sissy cuckold. She forces me into full maid's uniform and gives me a list of chores while she gets ready for her date with a real man. That is so cute. Um, <laughs> part of the chore list includes helping her get ready for the date, cleaning the apartment, and then being led out around on a leash while she inspects my work. At that point, she locks me in a dog cage. Okay. Uh, wow. In the closet and gags with her panties while she goes out on her date with a real man. They come back a few hours later and he fucks her all while I'm forced to listen from my cage. After her date leaves the next morning, uh, I'm let out to hear all the details and then clean up the room while she takes my credit card to go buy new lingerie and dresses for her new boyfriend. Wow. Wow. Okay. It's pretty intense. But now, right, so this happens, uh, the biggest fantasy. Okay. So this so hasn't say, happened. Does, does this ha- yeah, because this happened weekly. Here, again, hey, <laughs> you know, if, that, again, whatever floats your boat, right. you just got to be careful because- your wife might end up really liking the boyfriend and might not, might leave you in the closet one day and you're not, he's going to let you out. She's going to be like, I got to go. I got to do that. But everybody's different. I, I'm just, just wow. <laughs> Day, you want to take this first or, or, or do you well, want me to start shooting off my mouth? <laughs> I better get in there real quick then. Yes, <laughs> 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 no, it's it's interesting that this is uh the the fantasy. Um I, I wonder how it is in real life. Like so yeah. ugh, I'm going to get all fucking mental with it now. Like at work, <laughs> like the guy that wants to be boss the fuck around or do, are you extra dominant because you have this fantasy of being dominated? Very interesting. I wonder how that relationship actually is. This this guy this guy is is almost guaranteed uh uh you know a major CEO like dresses to the nine every day has a full workforce behind him and now is and and just you know is is constantly in in charge or in power and wants to you know and needs this yeah. to to kind of that, that's what that's that I I could be completely wrong. Right. I'd love it if you guys would, you know, please, you know, um, uh, if you'd write us in again, let us know if, if I'm on point or not. I mean, you don't have to give me all the details because, again, this is anonymous. But I got to believe that it's somebody who's in power and is, you know, tries to be a manly man in front of people. But behind closed doors, you know what I mean? You just want to. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I, this oh, is... I dealt with it. So I know. I've oh, seen did it. you? Oh, I, I can. I'm telling you. The world of webcam is amazing on the streaming sites and the platforms when you can do all that sexy stuff. Oh yes. Oh, I and they I can do what's called cam to cam, so I can see what's going uh-huh. on. Oh, I see. No, I haven't seen the, the dog cage part of it, but no, I've seen it. And then you know, it's like the whole put it sitting in the corner doing you know, hold, put their hands are behind yeah. their backs. So, like it's it's pretty intense. 
And it's like, you're, you know, you just go on and you do your thing. But, oh, yeah. No, and I've seen it. And most of the, remember, on cam, it's not cheap. You're charged per minute. And my yeah. rate, I haven't camped in a while. Um, so I'd have to say, you know, I want to say it's 15 bucks a minute. So you're paying per minute. And these guys are, you know, staying on for an hour. You're spending a lot of money. So I would have to say, I would agree with you. Yes, you have to have some kind of money for that kind of thing. But it does, because a lot of times people in power, what else can you do? Like you have everything, you have money, you have power. Okay, now what? Mm-hmm. Maybe they need that to maybe keep their ego in check a little. I don't know, but I, I agree with you. I mean, well, half mm-hmm. of that fantasy I can get on board with, okay? My husband wants to do the fucking dishes. You go for it, okay? <laughs> you, know, you want me to take your credit card and go buy myself some clothes? Fine, I'll <laughs> do it. <laughs> yeah, I, I also want to know, are, when you're being gagged with her panties, are they new panties or they used panties? I got to know. I, I mean, think you know, we they're... know, Bram. I think we know. <laughs> I'm trying yeah. to get more information, Dana. I need to know these things. Come on. What do you call it? I mean, you know, <laughs> and it, like, seriously, man, I mean, okay, I get it. You want to be a little freaky, but I mean, this whole thing, I mean, the, I've seen the whole sissy thing too. Like I told you, I have, uh, there's, there's a couple, you might even know them. Um, what do you call it tabs? I, you, cause they do all the, the adult conventions and they've been around a lot. Um, I can't remember what they, what they call themselves, but it's like a dominatrix woman and, uh, what do you call it? And he, they, you know, a sissy, uh, and she walks around and he's always wearing the tiny little, tiny little mini skirt. It, it's in the New York area, tiny little mini skirt. And... I think I saw that exotica one year. Yeah. You know, yes. Again, I, I want to say I have, and that was a little while back. Um, yeah. Because like, I don't know. It's funny. Everybody thinks I know a lot of people I, and I know certain from back in my time I do, but the newer ones, not so much. Cause when I'm at home, I'm at home. <laughs> no, no, I, meaning I meaning that, if, that you might've seen them, that you might've yes. seen them. Cause there, there are a couple that you remember. Yeah. There are a couple you remember. Yeah. And say. he, what do you call it? It's, but here's the thing. It's like, he will still knock the block off a dude. He's walking around in heels. <gasps> he's jacked. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He's walking around in heels, painted nails. And, you know, and, and mm-hmm. I've known him, I've known him probably upwards of, 25 you know maybe a little bit further years because he was he was involved in friends with people that i was friends with when i was still in the music industry so you know and before he was into all this stuff or before i knew he was into all this stuff and uh you know and they were always so they they do a show and they had asked me they go you know brim would you come do my show and i was like you know would love to do the show and they're like really i was like yeah why not well, because people are so judgmental and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, you're doing this. It's like, I don't give a shit. You know, like mm-hmm. at the end of the day, your people, your kink is your kink. And, and uh, you know, you're good people. And I love you regardless of yeah. what you do in your bedroom and what you do, you know, in public. I, I You're not hurting anybody, you know. So mm-hmm. at the end of the day, why wouldn't I do it? And, uh, you know, just just good people. They they just have, you know, things that they enjoy. And this seems to be that, that type of a thing. I mean, uh, I just... I, I don't know how somebody would want, you know, to uh, be locked in a dog cage. I'm also not into the whole, all right, well, have somebody fuck your wife type of a thing. That shit doesn't fly with me. So, <laughs> right. And everybody's you know, so different. Right. Everybody's yeah. different. Everybody's mm-hmm. different. Um, Absolutely. That's what we I have love anything? about this show, though. That's what I love yeah. is that we have all of these people. People write into this show and they tell us their kinks awesome. and then they find out we're not alone. We're not fucking weird. There are so yep. many people out there with different kinks and different things mm-hmm. that they like and nothing is ever the same. And that's what makes the world go round. It's what makes the show so awesome. So yeah. what, what's love yours? It. So Dana, what, what would be something you? That I like to have happen to me? Yeah. Um, I really like, my husband uses like this tape stuff. I really uh-huh. like the tape. Um, I like a little choking every now and again. I, not not hard, not hard, but I do right. I do like that too. Yeah. I, I like teabagging. I like being teabagged. I like balls. I like big really? balls. And I like I like clean balls. Uh and this the pheromones. There's something <laughs> I could just sniff them and be like, ah, all day. <laughs> I've never had that happen before. Maybe I need to have a talk with my husband just, and check yeah. it out. Yeah, Maybe you should nice both have a talk with my clean. wife. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we'll have we'll have a little tea party. We'll discuss. But no, but it's if there's something about the balls. I don't know why, but you like to tickle them and to 
smell them and to have them on my ear. It's like, oh, if you do it nice and light, it's like a little like head massage. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's weird. Or it's waking up my brain like, wake up, wake up, wake up. Or Chinese water to- torture, whatever we have yeah. to look at. But, you know, it's just like- it's American I- I ball torture. It. Yes, American <laughs> ball torture. But there's something about the smell. I don't, but again, shower, you know, maybe a little sweaty, but not, you know, but yeah, clean, sweaty. Sex but sweaty. shaved. Yes, but it just, there's something I'm just like- we're just getting that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> like, oh, Interesting. All right, Brim. Gary's like, up. what's going on in there? I want to <laughs> hear yours, Brim. What's your yeah. kink? What's yours? What's my kink? I, yeah. yeah. I don't, just to get some. I, I'd like to get <laughs> just get some every once in a while. Jesus Christ. I'm stuck. Help me. Help me. Speak to my wife, ladies. Help me. Yeah. Now, do you like boobs? Do you, I like boobs. I, with women, because of course I love women, men and women. Uh, I like nipples. I think nice perky, pulled out little neck nipples are just love them. I just, there's something about them. I love boobs. But. I'm I am a boob guy. I'm also an ass guy. And uh, luckily, my wife has both. What do you call it? But, you know, at the end of the day, my my, um, you know, I just love I listen, I don't have any crazy kinks. I just enjoy being, you know, and able to spend time with my wife. And you know what I mean? Take the time. We have kids there oh, in and out yeah. of the house all the time. So, you know, I guess my greatest, and you know that, Dana, you know, Mm -hmm. so my greatest kink, I guess, would be to actually get a couple hours alone with my wife in the bedroom with nothing else going on. That would be fantastic. Without my phone going crazy, people trying to reach me, the kids coming in, knocking on doors, the dog barking, just get rid of everybody. (laughs) Right, yeah. (laughs) And give me a couple hours to go to work. That's all I want. Let's give me some time to go to work. But, um, and I have an oral fixation, so... What do you call it? See, so that's, there you go. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. That, that's yeah. great. See, nothing wrong. So, with that. But it's <laughs> nothing great. Like the next person that we're going to talk about. Um, <laughs> what do you call it? Like I, oh, you oh, know, wow. just this type of a thing. In in a million years now, I don't I don't know anybody who does this. Other stuff, I know people. You know, what mm-hmm. I mean, this I've never come across. Um, but what do you call it? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna read this one now. Again, people, this is somebody writing in, not me. Let me preface that. If I have to say it in between, I don't need it being taken and put out there as though I did this. Um, anyway, Don't worry. Uh, we have the evidence that you didn't. So thank you. <laughs> yeah, you're good. We're back in yet. We got you. We got you. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you're ready. I'm turned on by being forced to wear and use diapers. There's a big community of us out there. Um, mm-hmm. I know this because I have heard of it. I've never met anybody who's into this. Um, and I've even, I mean, I've signed at Exotica, you know, and I, and I haven't seen, you know, anything, you know what I mean? Like that walking around, which normally at Exotica, am I right? When, when you do those cons, there yes. are people that they just let their kink fly. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like, you know, they just go to town. And, uh, what's funny is, 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 um, they're just, they don't have, they, they just don't care. And, um, this type of a thing, I, one, I could explain. Listen, man, you got to have some money because diapers are expensive. (laughs) (laughs) I had three kids and I can tell you diapers are expensive. And if you need large diapers, because it's usually men, right? Usually men are are wearing the diapers. Now, here's another question. Is this is, you know, forced to wear and use diapers? Is this a man or a female? I don't know. We don't know if this Uh, is a man or a woman. That's the thing with these Tabitha is that we don't know if it's a male, a female. Or oh, what they it need is to let or... you know. Mostly, I think it's men because I have a yeah. lot of people follow my only fans that I have uh, men that are like that. They they like to be giant babies. Uh huh. Uh-huh. And then, you, you know, they'll, they'll even send photos of them, you know, with a big pacifier in their mouth wearing the diaper, you know, and it's just, and they want to call you mommy. I mean, that's a big, huge thing. Uh, I had mm-hmm. never seen it or known anybody for it. But as I was going through these, I looked it up because I wanted to know like what the whole thing was all about. Right. And um, it was, I, it seems like a big part of it is they like to be changed. Like they want to go to the bathroom in their diapers and then they want somebody to like change them, which I thought was interesting. I mean, if you're on a road trip, sh- strap that bitch <laughs> on and let's go, you know, like, <laughs> Powder them both. Yeah. <laughs> Take a shower before you teabag Tabitha. Okay. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. No, I ain't got no. I ain't got <laughs> I, yeah. I mean, I can't. I can't even. I listen. I gotta imagine that diapers are uncomfortable as all hell. 
Um, but I guess it's just like, you know, maybe people want to think about, um, uh, you know, I guess, or feel as though they're, they don't have any responsibility. Is that what the, the case may be? I mean, they want to go back to where things were easy. Is I don't know, Tabitha, you have the most experience That's- on this one. I don't have that much experience. Well, no, you, you, I, you, I, you. No, but you're right. I, I would say yeah. that, or maybe like like the whole mommy thing. It's the feeling love from your mother, you know, um, like as a baby, most women would breastfeed. You know, maybe it's not, but not in a sexual way, but in a, a nurturing way where they want to be more nurtured. I don't know. I mean, I think that's part of it too. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe they miss something as a child. I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I know, I know it's, I know there's a big community out there. Um, mm-hmm. I just, I don't know. I, I can't, I can't imagine sitting. I would look so stu- I would look like the baby, <laughs> baby Huey in a diaper. Remember baby Huey? Yes. yes. I think yes. you're too young for baby Huey, Dana, but baby, I would look like baby Huey is what I'd look like. That would be absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and, and I, when I go to the bathroom, not like we need to talk about this here, but I drop freaking bombs like Hiroshima. Oh, I don't know if they were doing anything. I've seen it. It was only number one, not number two. Because if I saw a number two, I, I, would, I don't know about that. That's what I would not want to clean that. I'm not doing that. Mm. No. No, I do not want to wipe a grown man's ass. I'm surprised. mm -mm. I'm surprised we haven't gotten anything like that. You know, Oh. you know, like we haven't surprisingly, we haven't gotten any, you know, I like to eat feces or I like to have, you know, a a, a woman take a shit on my chest and stuff like that. Like, and it's out there because people are, you know, into that stuff. I, I don't understand it, but that's okay because it's not my king. Um, yeah. you know, but it, I'm surprised we haven't gotten any like that. So I wouldn't be surprised, we you know, if time. they we're only on okay. episode 23. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh, it's gonna come. Do you guys guess what? It's coming. <laughs> like, yeah. It's oh, coming. yeah. There's, there's a like... whole lot of shit coming our way in the future. Yeah, <laughs> especially yes. after my comment right now. I guarantee I'm in trouble. You're, yeah. It's gonna it's gonna come, and I'm gonna be the stu- one stuck reading it. Probably. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, Dave, it's your turn. <laughs> Uh, hopefully this one makes it in time for the fetish spectacular episode. It did. It did. Yay. Congratulations. You win a prize. You're on the show. I know our good friend Brim will agree with me on this one. My fetish is pregnancy. Yes. I met that my, is my girl. Fetish. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's right. That is your king. Um, I met my girl when she was pregnant and the first time I saw her, she was like a glowing angel floating toward me. God, that was sweat. She had morning sickness. And, uh, <laughs> not only do I think that a pregnant woman is absolutely stunning, but the sex is out of this world with all the pregnancy hormones running wild. The sex is like no other. Basically a pregnant woman glows like an angel, but is a devil in the sack. I'm not gonna, I'm, like that, yes. I'm not going to say anything bad about this because I'm right there with you. I love it. I love I, when my wife was pregnant, absolutely loved it. Every single second of it, we've already discussed this. So um, I think, uh, 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 what do you call it? First of all, a woman's body is beautiful to begin with any shape or size. Absolutely. A, a woman's body is beautiful. And and a pregnant body, you know, you've, you, you know, you're, you're bringing life into this world. There's nothing more beautiful than that. And, and the fact that, you know, that, that you are, there is a glow to a pregnant woman. And, um, you know, listen, I was all about it. So I, I, I bless you. My friend, I bless you. I think that that's it's fantastic. So oh. you know, yeah. Rub, I gotta rub wonder it up how that oil. pregnant woman felt about it, though, because serious. Whenever I was pregnant, I got four kids. When my no way you do. I do. I have four Shut children. Up. My yeah. husband would come at me with his boner, and I'd be like, "Bro, nah, like go <laughs> away, like no, thank you." I was so uncomfortable, and then it was like you have to like figure out different ways to do it. And uh, uh, I was so tired. I was not the horny pregnant girl at all. I was the you have fifteen seconds to do what you got to. You get in, you get the fuck out, and then let me go to sleep. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Wow. I was, I was pregnant. Um, and it's, it's, it's a long story and it's kind of sad. So I'm not going to get the whole thing, but I was five months pregnant and I lost my baby at five months. Oh. Uh, this was years and years ago. Um, so it's funny because I always get the, oh, you're so skinny. You're so tiny. Oh, you don't know. Oh, you should have kids. Oh, you don't know what it's like to have kids or be pregnant. I'm like, uh. Uh, do you know what it's like to lose your baby at five months? Yeah. yeah. I didn't get you know, mm-hmm. so it's hard. The one thing though, um, 
the sex was fine through that. Um, but because they hurt, my boobs hurt so bad because of the milk. But at, when the, the whole surgery thing had to happen, um, they didn't give me anything to dry them up. <gasps> they just, yes. So they kept leaking, but it was very sensitive. So it's like, I could touch it and be like, Ooh, you're like, it was kind of yes. a weird little, Woo-hoo. but yeah, that, that happened. So I understand that part of it, <laughs> so, <laughs> but I can understand your part too. So I, I get where everybody's coming from. <laughs> yeah. So. Mm-hmm. I love those spurting valves. Those are beautiful. <laughs> I just like in heaven. I, you just, I'll sit there all day. I, I'm good. That's beautiful. I love it. I'm sorry. I love it. You know, like, know ah. yeah, yeah. That's, that's right. I'm all good. I'm all good. And, and what do you call it? And uh, yeah, anybody who says that they don't, any man who says that they can't enjoy that, they don't love it. They're out of their goddamn minds or they just haven't had it. And, and that's right. it. Right. You know what I mean? You know, Did I tell it's- you about the, the friend of mine as I'm pregnant, like super pregnant, eight months pregnant, he starts talking about how pregnancy disgusts him <gasps> and like how, oh yeah. And his girlfriend at the time was sitting with, because she obviously wanted to have babies at some point with him. She thought they broke up. Shocker. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so- <laughs> but he was talking about how gross it was. And I think it was like, the next week I was going on vacation. And so I just put my fucking pregnant ass belly all over social media and was like, <laughs> good for you. That's awesome. See, that's amazing. That's so weird to me. When people get weirded out. Yeah. Like what? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Do you think it's weird that your mother had you? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Maybe they have mommy issues. Maybe they have mommy yeah. issues. It's possible. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's, that is a possibility. And, they put you know. them in the diapers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we figured it out. We figured it out. We did it. <laughs> there we go. But we'll call him Diaper Dan. We'll just call him yes. Diaper Dan. There you go. There we, it doesn't matter that, what his name is. He's now known as Diaper Dan. Diaper Dan. <laughs> that's, yes, that's good. Uh, wait, di- yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. I, I am in. I am in. I am in. What do we call it? All right. We need to get to the next one, Tabs, which, which is you. Okay. I like sucking toes and using chocolate and syrup on my lady. Hey, I, I'm down for that. I think it's awesome. I mean, I love chocolate too. Uh, chocolate and syrup. Are we talking chocolate syrup or is it just maple syrup? Because yeah. <laughs> it says chocolate and syrup. So is that like, right. chocolate That's like a syrup? pancake. That's like a pancake. I know. Put some butter on the bed. Give me some butter. You know, it's like, I don't know. But no, I love that. Just don't get any of that sugar inside that because that is not good. We are talking... We're making mini muffins down there with all the yeast. You don't want to be baking bread. No. No. Yeah. But as long as it stays on the toes and then there's some chocolate. Yeah. Just don't get it in those places. Unless it's in your mouth. That's it. That's the only place it can go. (laughs) I have nothing bad to say about this either. This is a good one. I'm in. It's a great one. I'm in. Now, here's here's an interesting question. And and I, I don't know if you, I'm sure you've seen it before. Would either of you, ever be game to let your significant other eat like sushi off your body or do something like that? Oh, do yeah. one of those things? Sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. I not? think that's fun. I think that'd you be get fun. a little snack in there and be like, yeah. oh, this sex is exhausting. I could really refuel. Right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, how good. Just you hear it. Just kind of go, oh, like, go finish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you're just like, mm. and they're like, yes, it's me. You're like, it's really the sushi. But that you just continue. There you go. Keep going. I'll, I'll pretend oh, it's okay. <laughs> I, I listen again, you know, the foot fetish. I'm okay. Like Danielle yeah, flips it. out when I, when I, you know, when I suck on her toes and she, she's like, why are you doing that? I'm like, because I enjoy it. Shut up and let me have <laughs> well, you my have an oral you. thing too. So whether it's toes, that, or anything, when yeah. I'm an, I'm a very oral person too. So it's just, there's something in your mouth. There's just something. Plus if it's with somebody you're really, in love with it. it makes it that much better so it's fingers toes this that you know everything yeah but yeah i'm the same way mm-hmm. i don't I see, and i don't care you know what i mean it's i it's like ev- ev- nothing's for me nothing's off limits you know what i mean in terms of that with her you know if if i wasn't with her and i was with random people that'd be a different animal maybe i wouldn't yeah, be I'm open with too. that or mm-hmm. you know what i mean yeah. but um mm-hmm. you know look we're going to be with each other for just about 20 years february is oh, 20 wow. years yeah so it, wow. it, 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 it's been a long time and uh what do you call it so listen 
I'm going to have my way with you. However, I want to have my way. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm like, what? what? No, 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 no. I just, you know, so I, I, you know, anything, anything goes and I'm, you know, it's weird. We don't do anything too crazy. It's just, you know, one of those things where I, again, for me, I, I would just like to be able to sit and enjoy doing stuff like that and spending the time where normally you don't have that time because right. you've got all ages in and out. And you know what I mean? It's like mm-hmm. when, when you have a, an 11 year old and you have a 20 year old, the 20 year olds coming in and out when the 11 year old finally goes to sleep. So oh, <laughs> you know, yeah. And pets. Is, you said you had, you had pets. Well, and we so have the puppy. Like, yeah. The puppy. Um, so, so it's like, you know, we, we can't even have him sitting in there because, you know, like our old dog, she'd be in the bed and we wouldn't care. She'd just be like, you know, all right, what's going on? Oh, the puppy wants, they want to get in. She didn't try and lick your butthole. (laughs) Yeah. No, Jasper, Jasper would try. I I mean, I think he was, he was around. I don't remember what was going on, but we were going at it. And um, what do you call it? And nobody was home. So we we had like maybe an hour before uh, my son got home. And uh, so, you know, he was in his crate and, you know, at night we cover him up, you know, if, if he's in his crate and, um, you know, he heard us and we were getting a little louder and he starts barking and howling. <laughs> it's, it's like, God oh, damn it, Jasper, wow. leave me alone. Let me have some fun. Yeah. <laughs> so, and we had to stop and calm him down and just ruin my whole vibe. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not easy being a man. It's not easy. You've got, yeah. you've got, you've got to do stuff and things. And you've got to oh, do right. you don't want to go down that road. <laughs> I, you know, hey, I, listen, it's not easy being a woman, but at, at the end of the day, uh, uh, you know, the, 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 the man is expected to do certain things to make sure that the woman is satisfied because it's easy for a man to go like this, but it's not as easy for a woman to go. No, yeah. Not all the time, yeah. you know? Right? Yeah. So, hey, you know what? My husband knows, like, I I got to work at it. It's not him. It's, it's just my body. You know, like I want to have an orgasm. There's, there's some effort on my part also in that yeah. whole process. Yes. He wants to have an orgasm. The wind has to blow and then he's done. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But that's that. Yeah, exactly. But then there's also, I've had it where, you know, you have people who have a hard time with that and it's like, Mm-hmm. And you got lockjaw, and you're like, okay, "Yeah, we gotta stop now. I'm moving to this, <laughs> yeah. to these, because I can't do the rest because I I can't feel my face. I can't feel my face." <laughs> and then you have the other end of the spectrum where people will take Viagra, which you know it's like again, I don't want to go on for an hour of getting mad, uh-huh. man. Like, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. You choose your battles, right? <laughs> <laughs> So you think that's where that song came from? I can't feel my face when I'm with you. Yeah. Remember, yeah. So, Wait, what? What song is that? I oh, can't really? feel my face when I'm with you. Yeah. We're going to get flagged for uh, copyright. Yeah. Oh, that's it. I might have heard. Oh, no. you've heard it. You have to be like, we've been all done. Okay. Now I know what you're talking about. Okay. Now you get what? Like you. seven to 10 seconds that you can do without getting flagged oh. for it. So we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. We're good. <laughs> Oh, my Lord. All right. So I'm going to get to the next one here. You guys ready? Ready. Ready. All right. My fetish is being tied up and choked. Something about the choking really gets me off hard. It can be scary, though, sometimes. A couple times, I actually passed out. Well, uh, maybe you're getting choked a little too hard. Um, I I wouldn't want to pass out. No, no. I mean, that's not fun. Like, firm, but not, you know, just so you know it's there. You don't want to squeeze. Um, all right. I mean, I, I'm assuming this is a, a woman. I'm assuming. I don't right? think. It's, but I mean, then again, you don't know. You never yeah. know. I don't know. You never know. I don't want to be choked. I do. A little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Like what? Like if it's a light little thing. Yeah. So you're in the moment. Yeah. It's getting a little, you know, more. Hey, hey, I get that. I understand. But I do. You know, I, I, I'm I, afraid to pass out. That's one of my biggest fears. It's the weirdest thing is to be like walking somewhere and then so I'm just passing out. Like, yeah. I don't know why, but it's a weird fear of mine to pass out. So I wouldn't want somebody to, and from what I understand that, you know, when you pass out, like you wake up and you're, you know, it's kind of like, you just don't feel great afterwards. Uh-huh. That's what I'm, I don't know. I've never, have any of you guys passed out? I, no reason? Whenever I was like a teenager, no, earlier than that, probably like I, me and my friends would like push against each other's chest and maybe- <gasps> 
Oh, parties. really? During parties. That's what we would do. You would like bend over for like 30 seconds and then you'd stand up and then they would. That's a different type of party. Then. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so, we would, like fall over and hit our heads on shit. We were, it, it is a miracle that nothing awful happened to us whenever I was like, had to have been like sixth, seventh grade, whenever wow. we would do stuff. Yeah. So dumb. So, so dumb. Please don't do that. Anybody that's listening. No, so, so, but that's kids. So, so you know, when we're kids, we all do things that were just, you know, you know. yeah. I've knocked people out. Yeah. <laughs> I've knocked I've them out. I've never done that. They're like, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 the only time I've gotten knocked out was Dr. Mano 2 and 0 in five seasons. Um, <laughs> but that was because I was like, can you fix this? <laughs> <laughs> and then and then i've 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 put people out uh, you know i'm blocking off their carotid artery so what do you call it when you choke them out so i've done that yeah. too but wow. you know but but you have to know how much pressure to put so you know if when i'm when we're being intimate if i'm gonna if i'm you know if i'm choking her you know and i'm there it's just enough that you're gonna feel that i'm there but i'm not gonna sit there and press i mean yeah you can't you can't do that yeah. you, you know mm-hmm. and that's not I, I gotta believe it's not fun for the person who's being choked either or maybe it is for certain people i mean again like there is a level of kink there that some people like that they, yeah. they like to feel that they're being choked and and yeah. you know, other people like to get the shit kicked out of them you know who i, I just i don't Kick think in the balls that's... they like balls yeah uh, oh. a girlfriend of mine, she loves doing that to people a girlfriend of mine she she totally just bam bam i'm like I, I couldn't do it because again, I'm too nice. And I'd be like, no, I can't do that to you. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to permanently damage you and then end up in jail for something. <laughs> right. I, I just because I love balls. I wouldn't want to hurt them. Yeah. Maybe, it's, maybe it's just me. First of all, I mean, I have huge nuts. I mean, and, and I don't, I, we learned like, something today. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, you know, and, and it's, it, there's, it's no joke. I've said it before. And um, it's nothing new. And, and the, but the fact of the matter is, is that, they're sensitive as fuck. Like mm-hmm. I, you know, like you know, I, I, I you, you touch them the wrong way, and it's like, whoa, hold on a minute. You know what I mean? So like, I have to, you know, you got to be very careful when you're down there for me. But then there's other guys like I've heard and seen, and you know, where where people like sucking the taste out of the testicles, and you're like, whoa, how do you like? I, me personally, that would hurt me. I couldn't, I couldn't allow that to yeah happen. i like it again it's a, to me it's like a gentle thing i don't know yeah. I like, a little, like a light fingernail touch you know like that's a little nice. bit like a tickling and little tones yes. and things like that yes just smelling but yeah i could never like oh can you i couldn't I, i'd be like sorry no that, no. I'm not that person i can't I just, and men I don't. there are men that like that i don't get yeah. it mm-hmm. i don't get it i don't understand and and like you said there are women that enjoy sitting and doing it like Mm-hmm. All right, so just they just like rev up. They're like, all right, we're ready to go here. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> so they must be to me. I sometimes think of like even my girlfriend, like you must be angry because <laughs> you get that excited to kick somebody in the nuts. Like it's like, oh no, like I just can't. I just I can't. Yeah. No, I mean it's like, do you want to get punched in the breast or in the vagina? Oh no, gosh, no. that's no. sensitive. Not you know, particularly. Like, no, I mean <laughs> you know like. I, I I don't know. I just I for me no go. I don't want to get hit in my bubs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it hurts. I'm an old man now. What do you call it? Uh, <laughs> anyways, what do you call? It? I think so. That's that's all the fetishes we have for today. Anybody that did submit, what do you call it? Um, please make sure you continue to follow the Dirty Little Secrets Club because of course we are going to be reading them. They just did not make it to this specific show because again we just have so much time that we could we could do this and we're coming on an hour which is. A lot more dirty little secrets oh, wow. stuff than you normally get. Yep. So uh, be grateful. Call it. <laughs> Listen, Tabitha, it's been an honor and a privilege, thank my you love. For I, having you guys. Thank you so much. So I much hope you fun. had a good time. Oh, it, this is great. Are you kidding? I woke <laughs> up to fun and happiness. <laughs> <laughs> no I breakfast, balls, but we did yeah. talk about balls. Yes. There you go. There you go. So, <laughs> I love it. do you, aside from the film, let's pop the film again. And then, what do you call it? Do you have anything else coming up you want to let everybody know about? And, you know, make sure we hit up all your social media, uh, whatever you're ready. Let's, let's do it up. Okay. So, the film is Dying Influencers Die. Um, the best thing to do for my Twitter, Instagram, anything like that. TabithaStevens.com. It has links to my OnlyFans, Loyal Fans, Twitter, Instagram, the film. And I have a bunch of other things on Vimeo that I've done. So that's where everything's at. It's just easier to do a hub because otherwise you're reading out 20 million things. It's like, just go to TabithaStevens.com. 
very simple. And thank you guys. <laughs> thank Absolutely. you. This was so fun yeah. having you oh, on the show. I'm so happy to finally get to yes. converse I, with you face to face. I know. I'm like, yay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning into the Dirty Little Secrets Club. We appreciate we We love you. We want to give them, you know, the, the whole number one rule of Dirty Little Secrets Club. Uh, guys, you know, the first rule of the Dirty Little Secrets Club is to tell everyone about the Dirty Little Secrets Club. That's what I'm talking about. Make sure you rate, review, subscribe, five stars only. Then you'll get those special thirst picks of the beautiful Dana. And uh, again, make sure you follow everything Tabitha does and... Uh, I thank you so much again for coming on. We love you so much and, and appreciate you. And uh, that's about all of the time we have. We will see you again next week. You think we want something from you? You got another thing coming.